I've got uh, 97-10 uh, Berkshire Gilt on screen right now, and this one, uh, I was kind of anxious to talk about this one because this one's uh, pedigree is, is very intriguing to me. Uh, she's out of fair warning on the top side, and I've talked about him uh, on the 96s, obviously. That's the board that we bought uh, in the draft. Uh, he was at Colson's. Uh, he's actually now at Southern Gold, and uh, that was a board that did an awesome job in Oklahoma that we wanted to give a shot and, and give him a try. The mother of this one, though, is actually a very young uh, blackout daughter. We went back and used uh, Old Man Blackout uh, very, very late in his career as a sire, and uh, this sow is actually a blackout, uh, OTL blackout, and, uh, and then bred back to fair warning. So I think from a pedigree standpoint, if you're a Berkshire enthusiast, uh, I think there's a lot of neat things to talk about here with these 97s. Uh, pedigree aside, uh, I think this gilt looks like a female. Uh, she looks like a big ring show gilt that uh, has a very bright future at her end point. Uh, you know, the folks that want to be competitive uh, in June and July, you've got to have one uh, that can reach that uh, that upper age, that upper uh, weight limit, and, and be the right kind uh, at their end point. And this one looks like she can do that. Um, she looks like a big ring, big pig kind of kind of gilt. And then beyond that, you're going to have a Berkshire a Berkshire female with a really fun pedigree to work with in, in your Berkshire program. So, uh, again, this is 97-10. This is one that I like a great deal. Uh, I think she's got a bright future, and uh, hopefully somebody out there in Berkshire land that uh, can appreciate how this one's bred uh, will find the good in this one. 97-10.